Hello, my loves. Thank you for all the questions that you keep sending in, especially as part of the My Life Festival. Here's a question from Daniela that I thought I'd answer in this quick little video. Daniela asks, I'm following this course and we have these flow charts where there's a certain tapping sequence. And now I'm following another course and there's a different flow chart with a different tapping sequence. Which is the right one? What do I do? Well, in all the courses that Roy and I have developed, we've created lots of different tapping sequences, flow charts to help you follow certain protocols that we know work when you're transforming a trauma, when you're transforming some stuck emotions, maybe. And all of these protocols work. The truth is that it doesn't really matter which points you tap as long as you're tapping them consciously and with the intention to transform the sabotage into free energy. And depending on which course you're following, you'll find different tapping sequences. What you need to know that you're doing is you are activating different meridians. You're tapping into different emotions every single time you tap these points and you're working on your intention. So next question. The next question is, when do I best listen to the meditations, the visualization meditations, the guided things, the brain trainings? So there are different ways to go about this. It's a great idea to fall asleep at night with a meditation that you love. You could use the meditation as your bedtime story to go into dreamland in the very best state to relax your brain. Then you could also use these meditations during your lunch break. You could actually take some time out during the day and plug in those meditations and take that chill out time where you learn to relax your brain and you consciously listen to those meditations while you're deeply relaxed and you'll notice that you will have more energy for the day. Then another way that you can listen to the meditations is to set your alarm just a little bit earlier than you normally get up and wake up with the meditations and use them as a way to start your day consciously. So those are a few ways that you could do it. And then I'll give you another extra way. You can also use meditations, have them on as a subliminal level. So very, very quietly and listen to them subconsciously while you're doing something else. Because remember, your subconscious mind is always wide awake. So if you're not operating machinery and you're not driving a car, you don't want to listen to meditations when you're doing either of that. So if you're doing something that doesn't require your full attention, you could have the meditations going on in the background at a very, very low level of audio. And then you're training your brain while you're doing something else. This is a great way to learn new languages, for instance. So thank you so much for those great questions. I do hope you're enjoying the My Life Festival and all the other offerings and gifts that we have ongoing on social media and everywhere else. And thank you for being my friend.